Okay guys, today's video is going to be about a new exterior case housing for the GoPro as well as a lens system for it. This is an all aluminum case that you put your GoPro in and it's got a little screw on the side here. That screw you tighten it and what it does is it pushes a little arm out and it tightens it against the case. So this actually gives you a really good protective outer housing for the GoPro itself. The problem with the normal GoPro with just the little plastic cage on it, a lot of it, a lot of the cameras expose like the, the camera lens and you know a bunch of stuff. And so if you drop your GoPro, like you know I'm kind of clumsy so I drop things, you drop it and you it could end up breaking the camera. So I figured an outer housing would really be nice. Plus, it allows you to put an actual camera lens on this on this case, so you actually have like a prof you know professional protection, so your camera lens won't get scratched if you're if it's in your backpack or whatever. Now the outer case, the back case still is kind of exposed, but it is actually was set within this aluminum housing by like I don't know a fraction of an inch, a little bit. So that would maybe offer a little bit of protection, but all of the outer edges are going to be fully protected. And so you should be well protected there, you know, in case you drop it. Now, the other reason I bought this case was because not only for the lens cap and to protect it, but also this currently has a 52 millimeter lens on it. So that allows you to get better, you know, better lenses that actually fit the camera. So, you can take this off, it just screws off, I, I had that on there too tight, and it just screws off. It's a, it's a UV lens, which I'm not really sure if that's to help reduce glare reduction or what, but that's what comes with the, the kit. I'll have the part numbers and the links down below in the description for the kit. But what I also picked up from Amazon was a polarizing lens. This is a 52 millimeter. So it's a 52 millimeter polarizing lens and it does twist. So we can put that on the camera. Just screws on real quick. So now the polarized lens is installed and let's go take some test footage with the new polarized lens. Another feature of the case, it actually comes with this aluminum cold mount, hot mount, whatever you want to call it. Basically what it does is it screws into the top of the housing and there's actually two positions so you can move it mount it more center, more to the left. So what it does, it allows you to mount a microphone, a light, a flash, whatever you really want to mount up here. Anything that takes a standard camera mount system you know you can mount on top of the camera and another nice feature is you got full access to the door on the side 
So you can have a external mic plugged in with the door open, and, you know, that way you don't have to, you won't lose it. But the other case is there's some cheaper cases online that actually doesn't have the full uh, door here. So you actually have to take the door off and there's like the whole ends like right about there. So I saw people where they actually had to use a Dremel to cut this open. But that's just another feature of it. So here's the polarized lens with the lens cover on. So far the setup looks pretty good. even more than just the normal plastic. So, 
I'm gonna drive the same route I drove yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday's route was like 20 minutes. Today's gonna be about the same. But I'm gonna shut up now and then I'll do some side by side comparison of the bumps. So as you just saw, there's definitely going to be an audio impact on your videos. You're going to have a rattling lens. You're going to have a muffled sound from the microphones. If you're having this mount into a car or if you're walking around filming a car show. So that's one thing to consider. On the flip side, if you are not really like mobile vlogging, if you're standing still, or if you're doing a time lapse setup like that, if you got the external microphone, and the GoPro adapter to allow you to use an external microphone. I think this might be a good setup. So, just something to consider. The footage you're watching now, this is actually footage from the first GoPro. It has the polarized lens. Pro Tune is turned on, and I did a fast forward. So there's no, there's not going to be any audio. So any issues that I saw, you're not going to see if you're doing like road trips and stuff like that. But just something to consider. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.